Hey YouTube -iters. this is the Black Cat Games and I'm the Black Cat. Today I'm going to be playing The Binding of Isaac After Birth. I'm going to be continuing on from where we left the last run, where I'd lost. I'm going to blame that entirely on soy milk and my own inaptitude at games. Hopefully we can do a bit better this time around and actually make some progress in the game. But we shall see, I'll probably take something just as terrible as soy milk and lose again. Ooh, very, very close there. Almost took some damage. Doesn't really matter too much on the first floor, but it's always nice to avoid it. And I'm probably going to take some damage here as well. Yep, like right there. These big spiders that shoot out bullets can sometimes be tricky, especially when the room is half filled with rocks. But only half a heart taken, so we got off pretty lightly there. A couple of corn flies. One of the newer enemies, they're not too bad. They're fairly simple, only really a step up from normal flies. Dead Sea Scrolls. Not exactly sure what it does. Ah, I see. Gives you a random spacebar effect. It's not a new item in the game, I've just never really known what it does. Sure, a lot of people do go out there and look up on the wiki what everything does, but I've never really been that bothered with it. Key. A couple of keys on our first floor. That's good. Make the second floor a bit easier. I'm going to put a bomb down here. Hopefully get that. Yep, meat enemy. Ooh! Chest with a bunch of money. And some bombs. Alright, Dead Sea Scrolls is recharged, so use it in this boss room and see if it does generate a random spacebar effect. Alright, that did damage. Better than nothing, I suppose. Fighting Monstro again. He's not going to be any problem. I shouldn't take any damage from him at all. Really would like to get a deal with the devil on our next floor here. Because Isaac's a, Isaac's a decent character, but he's, he's very basic and his damage isn't great. And that should just about kill him. There we go. Now, what did we get? Uh, dog food. HP up. Down to the basement too. Item room, straight away. Now this is X-ray vision. Yeah. Not a bad item. It's alright. There's a secret room. That's always nice when it does that. And a couple of bombs. I'm gonna blow up this TNT just to try and get nope. Thought it might blow up that dude in the middle, but neither of them will. Ooh, it's a curse room. With a black heart in it. Basically a free black heart. That's nice. And a sacrifice room. I'm going to press this button just to see what we get. Enemies. I'm going to leave the room. A few flies. She flies. She flies. Try and get a little bit of money from these poops. Actually got a nice amount of money there. Three pennies out of four poops is actually really good. You usually only get that sort of payout when you've got uh, the petrified poop trinket. Alright, I'm gonna... Ooh! How do you do this one? I think you'd blow up that one and immediately walk up. There we go. Just like that. 12 cents. A couple of troll bombs. Um, I think I will go into the shop here. Blow up the shopkeeper. Not like that. Oh, we've got a coin. Uh, a couple of spiders. I 
think I really only want item multiplier. Give me more bombs. I'm going to donate the rest of the money just to get the donation machine started off to unlock some upgrades eventually. There we go. Though I could have bought that spirit heart, but we're not doing too badly that we need it. Some little homing flies. Not a problem. And a boss fight is Larry Jr. Use a spacebar item, which... Maybe it was... Didn't actually do anything, but it gave me the sound effect of uh, the yum heart. So maybe it does just give you a random spacebar effect. Oh dear. No more damage. Butter bean. That would be from popping all of those poops. I do not like this situation because a lot of our avenues of retreat are blocked off. Run away. Come on. Go down. And he's done. And we get to deal with the devil. Now that's Lucky Scab. I think that also gives you HP up. So I think we should go into the Devil Room first. Really? That's Brother Bobby and Multi Dimensional Baby. I'm going to take. Oh, damage, apparently. I'm going to take both of them just to sort of cross them off the item list and also because after you get three deals with the devil you unlock Azazel so I want to unlock Azazel as quickly as possible Tinted Rock there, I'll blow that up so that's really the only reason that you would ever take Brother Bobby he is next to useless and multi-dimensional baby has its own issues down to the next floor we have Flooded Caves 1. Oh, money. A little bit of money. I'll blow up two of these. We get four spiders. I'll even go back just to go up north. And we get double Ultra Pride. Oh, oh, he really, oh, he really was trying with his shots there. Ah, uh, the left hand has appeared, and there it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to take it. It uh, turns, I think that's the item that turns most of your chests that drop into uh, red chests. And they have a, a better payout of spirit hearts, which I think are important. just basically breaking those poops to look for money there because I'd really like to get that donation machine up to about 20 cents in this run because that'll up upgrade my um, my store to have more items which is always useful more and more items ooh yeah bad damage there on my part Basically walk straight into it. Uh, red chest. Let's see what we get. A s three spiders. I was going to say a spider, but there's three. Continue on. Uh, we've got a turret here. Come on. Oh! Really bad damage there as well. Oh, look in it. Oh. Do we? I think we do. Oh, guppy. Dead cat. One third of a piece of the guppy puzzle. Probably should have waited until we knew we didn't get a deal with the devil to take that. Because I could have spent the uh, HP on a deal with the devil. The blue silkworms. Oh, there. Yeah, no deal with the devil now really bad damage 
Ah, uh, death. Oh well. We've got nine lives, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it was a really bad play to take that guppy item so early. Really should have waited. Oh well, what's done is done. good damage here at all. We're gonna need some damage upgrades. Alright, I'm gonna put a bomb there. So I really want to see what's in that chest. Okay, that didn't work at all. Oh, did it? Oh, it did work. It's just very hard to see there. Okay, now that should free up everything. Good. Flatworm. Not really useful now. Two diamonds we'll use. Oh no. Took damage there. This is a really bad room to have one HP on. Or oh, half a HP really, but. Oh! I did not see that bomb I used there. This is a little bit tricky to dodge. I'm really regretting taking that dead cat now. Though we should... Yeah, we finished the room. Good, good. This room won't really be a problem. Stationary turrets like these. Although they do have the... Well, that one did have the homing shots. Not really a problem. Telepills. Into the boss fight. Oh. Probably got enough bombs that this won't be too bad. Oh, that was a... Tanny's head effect, I think. Very lucky not to get hit there. Really kind of hoping for Chubb to be near the enemies when he munches on those bombs to try and kill them as well. So I don't know if that actually works, but I, I assume so. Which well, should at least, I think. A box of stuff. I did not even see that troll bomb there. Luckily I moved away anyway. I'm going to take Mom's Pearl because it gives you the uh, Spirit Heart drops. Which I think is better to have at the moment, especially with only one HP, than to get all red chests. Really like to take that, yep, that moving turret out of the way first. then take out the other two. That's the way to do it, I think. Blue pills. What have we got? One makes you larger. Yeah, I don't want to be twice as large. Just gives me a bigger hitbox. I think it gives you a bigger hitbox. Would be odd if it was hidden that you don't get a bigger hitbox, but it's purely aesthetic. These fat dots aren't really that dangerous. Just this room makes them a little bit more so because of its restricted movement space. And a key out of that, that's very nice. This run appears to be going a lot better than the last one. Now I think that's anti-grav, isn't it? Anti-gravity tears. I really would have preferred a damage upgrade. I can see forever is pretty useless because we've got um, those x-ray specs. So we'll go on down to the next floor. Now this looks like caves too. It is caves too. Double key room, I'm going to go in. Alright. A 
key. Got the patrol bombs. Kill me and open the chest. I'm not going to lie, I was going to try and push the chest over a bit more. I just didn't want the troll bombs to kill me doing it. Two of hearts, useless at the moment. Secret room, plenty of money. Alright, now I really want to go to the shop. I've got to remember that my tears are anti-gravity. What in the world are those tears? Okay, that's the multi-dimensional baby's tears when he's going over them when they're stationary. So they're doing absolutely nothing. So only tears in motion that pass through him will actually go into motion. If they're stationary when he duplicates them, then they're just going to sit there. Okay. Bonies. I really hate these bonies. They do fire very quickly. And that makes them really dangerous. Zombies aren't really a problem though. I don't know if these are actually zombies. I call a lot of the en enemies in this game zombies. Ooh, a dice shard. That's really good. Fast dips or corn dips. And a, a gishlet, I suppose you'd call it. A gishling. And little gishes. Got a bomb back. Spider room. Come on, damage. And I did get damage. That's very nice. Dead Sea Scroll is actually paying out in that room. I really want to find a shop. And the item room. Probably really want the item room first. I would like to donate all that money, but because I've got the uh, the dice shard, I think the item room's probably the the one to go for. It's going to be down here, I bet. So I do have to. That gave me a suicide effect. Oh, I really hate those bonies. They're going to kill me. You just, you just wait and see. They're going to kill me. Oh. Two down. Come on. Hey, we won. Okay. This room's a little bit easier. Flies are done. Okay. Yeah, I really want that key. That means then we can get into the shop as well. Little dingling. Or dingle it. Dingling. I'm going to call them dinglings. Those are dips, I know that much. Another key. That's technology. Technology one, I think. Okay. Now I think technology one keeps your damage. And it just replaces your tier with the tech beam. Whereas technology two is the continuous beam one that doesn't keep whatever damage you had. So I think this is the better of the technologies, unless you have... What's it? Mum's Locket. I don't know what this does. It's one of the new items in Afterbirth. Okay. I'm going to blow you up. And donate as much money as I can. Blue map has appeared in the basement. In Ten cents. Hopefully I can get up to twenty so we get the uh, more options. No, I can't. That's a pity. Health up. Really, really good there. 
Stars card's good, but the dice shard is much better. Um, since I don't know what Mom's Locker does, I'm going to take Mom's Pearl with me because I know that it gives you Spirit Hearts. And that's a lot more useful at the moment with the limited amount of HP I've got. I didn't need to come to this room at all. I just walked in for no reason. But we're going to do it. Technology is going to make it a little bit easier because of the range upgrade. That is... Little lava, the poop is moving. I'm guessing that when you destroy poop, you get some flies or spiders out of it, maybe? I don't know, but I'm guessing that's what it would do. Sounds reasonable to me. So the chariot. I'm going to take the chariot with us because we can always come back and get that dice shard after we kill the boss because I'm going to use the tarot card on the boss just to make it a little bit easier go to our second secret room up here ooh it's an error room it's the new error room actually ooh just the one uh, mom's hand coming down there Nothing too good out of there. A single card, death card, or chariot. I'm going to stick with the chariot card. I'll take this pill first. Paralysis. Paralysis. Didn't really do anything to us there because there was no enemies. Boss fight. The stain. Stain is not a good item. Not a good boss, I mean. It's very annoying because of those shots like that. Hmm have to focus on a bit of dodging here otherwise he will kill me and yeah just take all the hits there that's fine <laughs> perfectly fine to take all those hits it's not like we needed the HP little chubby okay, that's pageant boy that gives us some money but as we can't really donate anything because the donation machine's got jammed and we've already got 15 cents which means we could buy an item on the next floor anyway I'm gonna re-roll it hope for something better here that's a HP upgrade, that's fine that's that's actually pretty awesome there makes the run much more survivable and this is the depths one and a boarded up room should be uh, an Isaac's room I think they are Okay, it's a dirty one. Let's sleep in it. I think the dirty one means that there's not really going to be a crawl space under the mat. You put a bomb on the mat there and it blows up and it'll give you... That's just a, that's just the way down to the next level. You can tell because there's no little ladder on it. If there's a ladder on it, then it's a crawl space or a black market or something like that. Ooh, exploding bonies. Secret room with greed in that's fine. Uh, steam sale would actually be nice here. I don't really need the money. So, yeah, steam sale would be great. Also, not spawning any more enemies would be great. And not hitting me would be even better. Steam sale. Awesome. 50% off shop items. Kill that bomb fly straight away. I must be doing really bad damage at the moment. These things are taking far too long to kill. Well, I don't think I've really had any damage ups, have I? don't know what that trinket is, but it's not worth taking a hit for. Just a bunch of red and black zombies. I think the black ones spawn spiders, yeah. Kill 
the spiders. They're done. Ooh, the shop. What do we got? The Bible. And a pill. Explosive diarrhea is not very good. I think the Bible is a lot better than Dead Sea Scrolls there. Because it will give us flight if we need it. And I think the Bible kills Mom in one hit. Which could make this run winnable then. Because of the way that I'm playing and the <coughs> damage or lack thereof that I'm doing means that Killing Mom normally isn't likely at the moment. I haven't been to the item room yet, so I'm going to go and find that first. Now, I think it might be across... No. Maybe down here, then? No. More enemies. Double flies. And creepy brains. I do like how in Afterbirth they've changed it so that the creep goes away a lot quicker when you finish a room. Um, yeah, I think I have to do something like this. then like that because I don't have a key to get into the item room and then I can spend one more to get two bombs yep that's the way to do it still no item room that's surprising it'll have to be over this way then a bit more more fat bats. Much easier in this room because there's a lot more space to run around. Now, does multi dimensional baby synergize with tech? I don't know. It doesn't really look like it, but. Little melty faces. Now these ones are probably going to change to, oh no, flies. They usually change to bonies, which usually fire immediately. Something like that. Yeah. I got away from that one. Oh, tinder rock. A couple of spirit hearts. That's really nice. There's the item room. Gishlets. Or gishlings, whatever I was calling them. Gish things. I'll be calling them all sorts of things anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's a tint rock too. Nice. Lucky rock has appeared. That's really nice. Lucky rock's a good damage upgrade. Pity it wasn't there. Telepills. I'll take it. Juicy sack. No. That puts a host on your head. I don't really know what that does, so no. That does something to your tears. I don't really know. 2020, double shot. That's good. That'll do. That sort of upped our damage. Yeah, that's a lot better. Ooh, took a hit there. Did not mean to take a hit there. Oh yeah, that's better damage. Alright. Over to our boss fight, I think. There's only one more room, may as well do it, because it's on the way. Little brimstone turrets that got me. I don't think I hit him at all there. Oh dear! Oh, I did not want to take that hit. Oh well. Still three red hearts and two spirit hearts. That's that's really survivable, so. Loki. This sort of tells us how much damage we're doing because we can see how much the uh, health bar is going down, so. 
It's not great, but it's it's not terrible at the moment. Try to get rid of those. Oh, that spiky block. Okay, that is Binky Memories. I think that just gives us a spirit heart. It probably does more, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to take both of these. Goathead really only gives you the option to get more um, deals with the devil. Doesn't really do anything for this run because it's, run because it's almost ended. Contract from below, well, but a cost. That's pretty good, actually. Go on down to our final floor for this run. Dank Depths 2. Right, I'm going to go in this curse room. Two keys. I don't really need to fight that at all. I can just teleport straight out. Okay, our fire rate seems to have gone up, so maybe that um, pacifier did that as well. Well, it must have. Nothing else should have done it. Ooh. Ah, uh, dips. Shiny rock. It shines for its brothers. Don't really know what that does. Nah. I'm not even going to try and find out. A couple of books. Uh, Anarchist's cookbook. And telepathy for dummies. I'm just going to pick them up just to say that I've picked them up. Because I'm taking the Bible with me. Ooh. This is tricky. Because of the gravity on the room. Okay. We beat it. A couple of ghosties. And a fatty. Endless nameless stuck in a loop. I don't know what that is. Oh, super greed. Oh, thankfully he went down quick there. Ship to whoop. No. I'm going to pick it up just to say that I've picked it up as well. It's really not a good item. It does not do the damage that it that you really need to take it. Well, there's an arcade there. That'll give me a chance to uh, maybe play something to get more HP. Or die. Yeah, that was really bad. I should have known better than to stand right next to him. Play these for a while. That is... Oh, no. Didn't get it. That is... Scatola, Scatoli, Fly Love. It isn't bad. I'm going to play that a bit more. Blow that up. Play this for a bit because, oh, it gave me a pretty fly. Because it could well give me a spirit heart, which would be really nice right about now. Blew it up. Full health. Absolutely useless. Uh, may as well. I've got nothing to spend there. Nothing else to spend the keys on, so I'll go in there and get that. It's a bit late to be getting that, but that skeleton key. Don't know why I'm bothering picking up these consumables, because I don't need them. Okay, the jumper was done with, so that's alright. Eternal Heart. Sure. Basically gives me an extra hit. Okay, go in here. Let that come down. Use the Bible and win. 
All right. Was a corn. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve the God, was bearing me down on Isaac. I need to do as I told my lord. I will love above all else. Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was a far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened. Sending, sending an angel, angel down, down from above to stop his mother's, mother's hand. hand. And, and just, just like, like that, that, it was over. Alright, and that's the end of that run. I'm going to let that play through just that once. Every other time I'm going to skip those ending scenes, I think. But, ooh, we've unlocked a bunch of challenges and stuff here. So that'll do it for this video. I've been the Black Cat and you've been joining me. Um, feel free to like and subscribe if you like and want to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for probably some more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. See ya.